everybody in here. <laughs> I'm tired. I did not sleep well last night. I kept getting up and checking on Papa. I haven't even brushed my hair today. Oh my gosh, I look like an old hag. Anyway, I have so much to do. I have so much to do today. Oh my gosh, I gotta get started. The first thing that I had to do is this area of the dog yard is really, really muddy. I mean, just boggy. Your boots just... Oh, here we go. Back and forth. Your turn, Romeo. He's not going to do it. So, uh, I just I just raked up a bunch of pine needles. And, yeah, there's some leaves in there, too. And I've covered a nice layer in this whole area. So that the dogs won't be walking around in this mud all the time. And hopefully that will compact down over time. But, the situation is, the water comes off the hill right over there. And it comes, basically, it was coming this way, right into the yard. Most of the water was coming in through this direction. Um, so I'm digging up, remember that uh, pile that I put over there from the garden beds that I dug? Well, I've relocated over here. So I've tried to make this ground a little bit higher. The water is still going to have to have some place to go. So hopefully I'll get enough soil down here so it'll just go out this way. And then down my driveway and not <laughs> not all go in to this area so I need more soil here this this whole area right here needs to be raised up higher so hopefully the water will go down that way um, but yeah look at this this is just like a swamp back here and it stays like this unless we've had no rain for weeks so it's really damp um, and I'd like to keep the yard kind of dry so hopefully that'll work all right I'm gonna take a break and I'll finish this later my next project is my outdoor shower stall yeah these are just standing up uh, this one's pretty pretty solid it doesn't look like it's gonna tip but I need to find a way to secure it so it doesn't and I'm just holding this one up because the land kind of goes this way with a couple of cinder blocks but now all I need to do is figure out how to put my shower curtain like right up there. I don't know, probably a hook and a couple pieces of bamboo. I think that'll work. But this is going to be great. I can't wait to try it out. I may try it out today. just depends on if I have the energy. I'm just sitting on my porch taking a little break. I'm a little upset because I lost my sunglasses. I cannot stand to be out in the sun without my sunglasses on. I usually, I mean, I wear my glasses and I just put the sunglasses over them. Anyhow, um, so I got a couple things done. Um, I'm just in here to look at a papa. He's like in front of the gate where there's a little bit of shade that reminds me I need to um, I need to fix a shade area for the dogs what I like to get is like a table and chairs with an umbrella and whatnot um, but I've got I don't know I may be able to rig something up so that the dogs will have an area of shade to go to so that they will always have shade somewhere where they can go and <sighs> never fails does it uh, so they'll have a shady area to go to so I need to do that too and I need to work on the brooder box back there um, in the van uh, the brooder area at any rate I have decided that once the chicks if chicks are born and she's on day 17 so it's not gonna be long hopefully Sunday there will be some chicks I don't know I just keep my fingers crossed I would hate to have her just have been sitting on those eggs all that time and have no baby chickens so um, I need to fix the area I'm, I've got some some stuff I'm gonna put back there and I have decided that I'm gonna take the file cabinet out once the chicks are born and they're gonna use the little the little uh, well the brooder house thingy that's back there um, and I gotta get some clean bedding for them too uh, there's no need for me to do anything else I don't think um, so I got to get done done too. I'm tired. It's supposed to rain. Yes, it's going to rain. I mean, it's kind of sunny right now, but uh, yeah, a little bit later it's going to rain. Remember this? This is a little triangle shade thingy that uh, Flancy gave me. Um, I haven't secured it permanently because I'm not going to leave it like this. But for now, it'll, it'll be okay. It gives a little bit of shade right now. It's overcast, but it'll start giving shade kind of in this area. So I don't know. Uh... I really want, you know what I really want? I want a table with an umbrella that I can put just about right here. Maybe, I don't know. 
Yay, Pub is laying there. I just put some plants out here. Uh, these are not the ones that I'm going to keep here. These are just the ones that are growing right now. I put the beauty berry over there, and I might see if I can plant a couple more things in that planter because there's a lot of room. So, I don't know. Maybe I might be able to. Maybe I won't. Who knows? And this is the perfect, perfect size for a gate, I think, right here. So, I may end up taking this little piece off and putting a gate up that's like the other one out front. I just need to put wheels on them and whatnot. So, yeah, I think that'll work. I've planted the cedar tree. Yeah, hopefully it won't die. I mean, it still looks pretty good. You know what? I may go get that other one from the shed and plant it, you know, kind of over here somewhere. And I just put those little things over there so when Mr. Lucas comes to mow, he won't mow over it. <laughs> yeah, so I may take that uh, little cedar tree from the shed and just plant it maybe about right here because they get pretty big. They get pretty gosh darn big. And then just do a whole row of them because I have a ton of little baby cedar trees growing all over the place. So I don't think it's going to be too hard. Oh yeah, in the last video I said that this was a cedar tree. I mean, not a cedar tree, a pine. <laughs> I'm going to go plant the pine. No, it's not a pine, it's a cedar. But look at what other kind of tree I've got. Now, there's two trees here. See, one, two. But the biggest one uh, is actually a dogwood. I don't know if you can see those flowers all the way up there. I don't know why these are not flowering down below kind of weird but um i don't think this tree is dead because i remember it fully getting leaved lots of leaves you know after the spring during the summer and whatnot so um i don't know if that one is also a dogwood maybe that's the dogwood it is look the curvy one is the dogwood it goes here they look like different trees that's why, that is why, because this one, the curvy one, is the dogwood, and it's only flowering all the way up there because it really doesn't have any other limbs. So, I don't know, pretty cool. I've actually got dogwoods all over the place. There's another one over there. I don't know if you can see, it's like right back there. And at the back of my property, well, here. It's so funny, every time I take a step next to a tree and there's a bunch of brush, I hear the skinks, they go not a snake. <laughs> I know the sound of a snake, but yep, the skinks are back. There's a papa. He's being a good boy. So there's a dogwood there. There's one over there. There's a couple over there. And I think I've got, yep, it's hard to see from all the way here. There's another tall one over there. Now these aren't, haven't been pruned very well. Um, so they don't, I mean, they're just super tall. They're not close down to the ground. Can you see that? It's like right, right there. Yep, pretty white flowers. And my neighbor's got some too. Here's a better view. See, there's one. There's some out there on uh, Hannah's family's property. And it's kind of nice seeing them. I mean, the flowers aren't going to last long. But that's pretty awesome. The day's winding down, and I was gonna take over uh, a tarp to Mr. Lucas, but I haven't seen him out all day, so, and his garage door is closed, so he must be in for the day. I can do that tomorrow. To put a tarp to put over his chicken yard thingy, so his um, chickens will have some shade and they can stay cool, because it's getting hot. It got up to at least 80 today, and I was sweating. It's time to get the shorts out, that's for sure. Yeah, well, it's been a great day. I got some things done. I think I did a couple other things, but they weren't worth mentioning. Um, so hopefully it won't rain all day tomorrow. I think it's just supposed to start raining this evening and through the night a little bit. And then hopefully my little, at least the dirt that I've got put down so far, uh, will prevent the, the water from coming in this yard. We're going to see. Uh, it needs more dirt, and I need more uh, pine needles out there and whatnot, so... Yeah, I may just line this whole area with pine needles. Um, you know, Papa, he went number two in there. And he usually doesn't like to do it anywhere close to the tiny house. So, 
yeah, that's uh, his comfort zone, I guess. He's on pine needles. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.